How's it going? And thanks for coming to the Arizona Parks Fest. My name is Mike, and I'm with the Udall Foundation's Parks and Focus Program. And I'm Melly. We here at Parks and Focus connect youth in schools and organizations to nature using photography and outdoor learning. We're based right here in Tucson, and we work throughout the year to get kids exploring in our national parks and our public lands throughout Arizona. And today, we're going to talk to you about Art of the Dark. Photography you can do just about anywhere, from the park, to your place, and anywhere in between. And photography is a great activity to recreate responsibly. It's really hot down here in southern Arizona, but we still want to be able to go outside and take pictures. So let's head out at night when it's cooler outside, or in a dark room at our place, to create some art in the dark. It's great. All you're going to need is a camera, and you can use a DSLR, a point and shoot, or even your cell phone. And then it's all about getting the right light source. Either a flashlight, headlamp, glow sticks, the stars, or even some city lights. And then you're going to need a stable surface or a tripod to set your camera on. And once it's on that, you need to change the settings in your camera to a long exposure or nighttime. And if you're using a cell phone, there are even some apps out there for free, ones you can pay for to help get it in that long exposure. A photograph's exposure determines how light or dark an image will appear when captured by a camera of your choice. A longer exposure means that we are telling the camera to stay open and collect light for a certain amount of time, whether it's for a few seconds or up to a few hours. Check out these cool example pictures of light painting in Art of the Dark. go out in our backyard, and even a dark room at our place. So come on and join us. Are you ready to play? I sure am. Let's go. Here we are in the Sonoran Desert under the beautiful night sky, and we're going to show you how to take a picture of this saguaro illuminated. You're going to need a camera with a long exposure, a stable surface or a tripod to keep your camera steady, and a light source. And we're going to take our light source and put it behind the saguaro on the ground facing up so it's illuminated from behind and depending on how bright your light is we're going to change our camera settings to a 10 to 15 second long exposure to capture the light and the saguaro check out this example we took illuminating the saguaro here we are in downtown tucson in front of this beautiful mural and we're going to take some nighttime photography so for this shot, we're going to use a cell phone with a long exposure app. And I even put these clips on the bottom of it to stabilize my phone so when I take the picture, the photo doesn't come out as blurry. Here is what the Greetings from Tucson mural looks like once we stabilize our camera and use an app to lengthen our exposure time. You don't even have to go far to do art in the dark. Here we are in our backyard and we're going to do what's called light light. If you extend your camera's exposure time to three to six seconds, you can even write out some words with a glow stick or a low light with some friends. Just make sure to keep your camera on a stable surface or with a tripod. Here's another tip. Use your camera's self timer. It gives you a few seconds to jump in line with your buds to write what you're going to write. And that way, you don't accidentally bump or move the camera when you're taking a picture, potentially making your photo blurry. Check out some examples of our light writing in the dark. You can do this activity inside as long as you can get a room dark enough. This might even mean putting blankets or towels over doors and windows to block out excess light. And then you'll need the same tools, a camera, a tripod or a steady surface to set your camera, a light source, and a dark room. Once we've got all those things, make sure your cameras are in the right settings for a long exposure, and then we can get ready to make our cool design. Check it out! Now here's an example of our light painting in the dark. We 
We hope you all enjoyed exploring Art in the Dark from the park to your place. I sure did. Me too. As you go out to create your own Art in the Dark, take some time to think about what are some differences you observe during the nighttime versus the daytime. What does this look like in the city, or in the desert, or even your place? And please submit your responses and your photos on our Facebook page, or submit them to parksandfocus at udall.gov. That's parksandfocus, one word, at u-d-a-l-l dot g-o-v. We'd love to see your photos, and you can even win a prize. Parks and Focus would like to thank our partner, Western National Parks Association, for their support. Thanks, everybody, and don't forget to recreate responsibly. Bye! Bye.